a drone airfield in Switzerland. Researchers are testing a cargo drone for the Red Line project. Similar models could be used one day to transport medicine in Africa. In Africa, had more this means that in Africa we'll be able to transport supplies from one village to the next, or from the regional hospital to a village. This is not about delivering a package to somebody's house, but rather to the town square or a landing strip. There will be drones that deliver medicine. They might be smaller and be able to take off vertically. And there will be drones that look more like classic aircraft. The drone flies completely autonomously. And it can fly up to 70 kilometers on a single battery charge. Africa's road network can be poor or even non-existent. For cargo drones, that's not a problem. What normally would take hours or days by road can be flown in, needing only a fraction of that time. Journalist Jonathan Ledgard initiated the Red Line project and currently leads it. He wants to transform the continent's transport infrastructure. Just for example, Eastern Congo, seven million people, one road. One road, seven million people. Now you do not have to be a macro economist or a clinical health specialist to realize that if you can have a, a craft which can fly across the jungle, uh, over the lake, through the mountain, then, then that's going to provide better health outcomes, better economic. And what have the tests determined? Could this vertical takeoff drone be a viable candidate for the Africa project? We're very happy with its performance, and this drone is especially robust compared to other vertical takeoff drones. If all goes well, the project will be launched in Rwanda in 2017.